so hot today, huh? U.S. California, and you? Oh yeah, good. Okay, are they delicious? Yeah, please. Can I try? What is this one? One kilo ringgit. Apple? Jambu, jambu. Jambu. Guava, guava. Okay, let me take two. Two piece. Two piece. Do you guys have the ganja? Not today, no ganja. What's up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Another beautiful day here in Kuala Lumpur. Now today, the city looks a little bit different because it is a Sunday morning. There's not much movement out right now. Traffic looks pretty, well, pretty smooth. Usually this street right here in this Chow Kit neighborhood is usually bumper to bumper. Well, that's what I've noticed here the last few days. Um, but yeah, Sundays, very relaxed days, however, Today we're going to be heading towards the local market, the Chow Kit Wet Market, which is actually where a lot of the locals do their shopping. They go there for produce, for all of their fresh like poultry fish, and yeah, I want to show you guys that market because markets here in Asia are always super vibrant. In fact, anywhere in the world, they're always super vibrant, super crazy places, and I think that we could enjoy a nice little tour of the market. Now today is actually my last day here in Malaysia. I know. Sorry guys, I'll be back very, very soon though. It's my last day because I had an opportunity come up in Sri Lanka to go and work with the company. And of course, well, throughout the last few years, man, I've been working up to this point to have opportunities like that come up extremely random. So of course, I'm not gonna say no. Even though I wanted to spend more time here in Malaysia, I was like, absolutely. Let's make it happen. So I'm gonna be leaving Malaysia tomorrow, but I will be back again soon to explore more, to explore Borneo, the North, the South, and I'll be coming back with Gladys in about, I wanna say a month and a half time. So relax guys, enjoy the Sri Lanka series because I'll be back and I'll be back to make a lot more incredible videos and show you guys a lot more stories from here in Malaysia. Now, wow. It is hot today. That lady had a nice fan. I wouldn't mind having one of those. Maybe we can purchase one here in the market. Now, you guys have actually seen this area in a few of my videos here over the course of the last few days. And um, you know what, let's actually get a drink. Why not? Hello. Um, can I get a water, please? How much? Three ring at 50 cent? Yes, please. It's so hot today, huh? US, California. And you? You're, you're from Saba. Where's that? North? Ah, okay. Slangor. Ah. Kel. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, it's so hot that this water is exactly what I need right now. But yeah, we're about to enjoy the Chow Kit Market area. It's quite popping actually over here, even though the rest of the streets were quite slow here, it's active. So let's see, let's, let's see what we can get our hands on. Now I could actually go for like a nice fruit salad, a fruit cup, something refreshing like that. And I have a feeling that here in the local market is actually where we're going to be able to find that. Now, one thing that I really love about being in Kuala Lumpur is that although it is an incredibly massive city, it's also very, very calm. It's organized chaos. You don't hear people honking their horns absolutely everywhere like other Asian countries. You don't hear, you don't see people like driving super crazy. It's nice, calm nice slow pace of life i like it especially for this being such a big city wow that watermelon looks incredible so these are watermelons cantaloupes i'm not sure what are these maybe mangoes these here are the mango steens i believe these are apricots no super cool very vibrant, huh? I wish we had fruit markets like this in Los Angeles because this is where I would definitely be doing my shopping. However, guys, this is where we're gonna 
run around and do some laps. The Pasar Jalan Raja Bot. Let me know how I did with my pronunciation. All right, let's dive on in. Now, first impressions, man, I'm getting a strong smell of all kinds of different fish. Yeah, all kinds of different seafood. Wow, look at the jackfruits. I believe these are jackfruits. Those are massive. <laughs> look at these bananas, too. I believe these are actually plantains. These are made for, um, well, in Latin American countries, we actually use these. We slice them up and then fry them and we eat them for like breakfast, also as a dessert. Actually, there's no right time or place to eat a fried plantain. Ooh. A lot of fresh chicken, beef, pork. So yeah, definitely a place for local people though. You don't see any tourists walking around here. Wow, is this a, a bull head? Cow head? So much fresh fish. Hello. No, seriously, such a stimulating market. I mean, there's so much going on, so much to look at. What are these, some catfish? Yeah, that looks like catfish, some red snappers. I wonder where exactly all of this um, fresh fish comes from. Like, which part of the country? Looks like he's prepping that one up there right now. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. I'm holding up traffic. I gotta keep it moving. People are out here trying to do their shopping right now. Now I wonder how these markets work. Let me know guys. Is this like a place where you come and you bargain or is this uh, like a set price destination? Wow, look at this meat. That looks nice. I could use a nice steak. However, I'm a terrible cook, so I'm definitely not gonna be purchasing any meat to go home and prepare myself. Wow, look at these. quite impressive to see how like energetic the people are early in the mornings so the area we just walked down that's definitely where like the fresh poultry um, the meats are the meats can be found and it looks like over in this direction is actually where we're gonna be able to find a lot of like the produce but you know what let's actually walk over this way and go check out a few more aisles and see what else we can find down in these rows I'm just curious out of curiosity I want to see what we can find oh wow look these are sh are these shrimps no um, calamari calamari little squids you know what guys actually I'm quite quite impressed for being inside of like a, a market where there's so much like meat and fish hanging up seafood it actually smells quite nice and quite pleasant in here not like in uh, other markets I've visited around the world where like you know some of the smells are just uh, intolerable here no it actually smells very very clean very it smells nice I like it actually it amazes me I mean how much food is consumed in a daily basis. I mean, this is one market, guys. One tiny little market in the city. Wow, what are these? I've never seen these before. Sir, what's the name? What's the name? Sardine? Sardine, this one. Oh, these ones sardine. Oh, okay. I never heard of these ones before. They look nice. Thank you. I never heard of those before. I couldn't really grasp the name, but never heard of those fish before. Oh, there are some tourists, look. No, definitely, if I had a full kitchen and I was staying here longer, this is where I would come and buy my food. I always shop in local markets when I'm out on the road. Okay, so yeah, definitely um, only meats happening over here. Butcher shops like this are really hard to come by 
um, where I live in the US, it's actually quite hard to find butcher shops like this that still exist. I mean, you can find them, but usually it's a lot more pricier, but the quality of meat is also a lot better. Hello, how are you? How are you? Doing good. Good. What are you selling? What kind of fish do you have? Is this catfish? Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. You don't want to talk no more. Okay. Have a good night. I mean, okay, have a good day. Guys. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why he um, interrupted the camera if he didn't want to talk, but it's okay. It's completely understandable. But um, yeah, those are catfish. I'm not exactly too sure where they actually um, get the fish from, but do keep in mind that uh, Malaysia is actually surrounded by bodies of water. So there's plenty of different places where fishing could obviously take place. But now we're definitely in the produce aisle. Oh, business must be slow over here. Hello. Onions, garlic, all kinds of good stuff. So yeah guys, as I mentioned, I'm heading to Sri Lanka. I'm gonna be spending a few weeks there, actually probably closer towards the, towards a month, a month of my time because I've actually never been there just like uh, here in Malaysia. And well, a great opportunity arise, which you guys will be hearing about in the next few days. And yeah, I want to explore the country thoroughly as I do want, as I want to do here in Malaysia, but unfortunately, um, things happen. So I'll be back to explore Malaysia thoroughly. But please, if you guys have any recommendations for Sri Lanka, drop them down below. And also leave me recommendations of places that you want to see me visit here in Malaysia during my next trip, because I will definitely be back. I will definitely be back um, to explore a lot more and I want to start doing that planning now because I'm coming back with Gladys as I mentioned and she's a very organized person. She likes to have everything um, well planned and thought out before we actually head to a destination. Now I've been here in Kuala Lumpur for around three weeks now and let me just tell you guys I haven't done anything touristic. I haven't gone to the Batu Caves, I haven't gone to uh, the Patronus Towers like Skywalk. There's a lot that I'm missing here but um, that is because well, I didn't want to experience it twice. I'd rather just do it my first time with Gladys and experience it together. I guess that's what happens when when you're in love, you know what I'm saying? You want to have those experiences together. So I'll definitely be sharing all of that with you just um, later on during the trip. Well, you know what? Let's actually do some uh, produce shopping. I want to buy a few items to take back to the house with me. Hello. How much? This one? Okay, can I get one one of these? How much how heavy is that one? Oh yeah, good. Okay. Yes, thank you. Why not? I I like watermelon. What's the what's the name in Malay? In Malay name? Lonhal? Lonhal. Lonhal. Local. Local. Okay, local. All right. Local. There you go. We got ourselves a nice watermelon. Dude, I'm about to go home and tear this up. Look how fresh that looks. Amazing. Sir, you know where the watermelon comes from? The north? South? Yeah. What part of Malaysia come from? North? You know, where does it come out of? No? Okay, okay. Teddy Mikasi. Teddy Mikasi. Alright. I got watermelon now. I think I could also go for like a nice mango. Oh man, these look amazing too. Dragon fruit? What's the price? Four piece ten ringgit. Okay, are they delicious? Yeah, please. Can I try? She's very nice. We're gonna buy some dragon fruit now. Malaysian people like dragon fruit? Oh, thank you. See, this is better than the um, than the grocery stores we have back home because you can't try the fruit. Delicious, wow. Yeah, let me do um, two. Two pieces. Uh-huh. 
Oh, I can choose? Yeah. How do you choose, you? Like this, this one sweet. This one's sweet? Okay, yeah, I do that one. And then I do this one. <laughs> Easy. Where does this come from? Kuala Lumpur? Kuala Lumpur. Or from far? From Sampang. Sampang. Oh. Sampang. There you go. Sampang. I'm not sure where Sampang is, but... Maybe we have to visit the home of the dragon fruit here in Malaysia one day. Thank, Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Oops. Sorry. Oh man, I bought some heavy fruit to start off this uh, fruit shopping spree. Wow, everything looks incredible. But as I mentioned, I'm leaving tomorrow, so I don't I don't need a whole lot of stuff. But um, this fruit is gonna come in clutch right now when I get home. I'm about to tear this up. Now, dragon fruit, I've noticed, always comes differently. Sometimes it's like white um, in the inside and sometimes it's purple in the inside. I'm not sure what actually um, makes two it different. Piece it. Two piece filing it. Two piece five ring it. I just bought two piece. What is this one? One kilo eight ring it. Apple? Jambu, jambu. Jambu. Guava, guava. Okay, let me take two. Two piece. Two piece. Yeah, jambu. I never heard of jambu. <laughs> is that the name, jambu? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out if this is Jambu or not. You and that one number. <laughs> Seven ringgit. Seven ringgit? Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Good. video. Good deal. Thank you. Good deal. Good deal. Jambu. Yeah. Jambu. Jambu. How do you say it? Jambu janda mau menunggu. Jambu janda down. Itu padu wa. Venom wanna do. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you. Oh, my change. Thank you. Teddy Makasi. Thank you. Wow. And what are you selling, bro? Oranges? Can I try one? Oh, this one's open. Oh. Yo, I bit into that. Juice came out. You know what? Let me do. Let me do a half kilo. Half kilo. Is this market open every day? Yeah. Every day. No, every day, every day. Every day. Oh, okay. Just weekend. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. It's okay. Thank you, bro. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, okay. It's okay. Keep for you. Keep for you. you <laughs> thank you, bro. I appreciate you. So many nice people, man. I love, I love walking around in Malaysia because everybody gives you nice energy. Good people. Thank you so much, bro. Janda menu. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> thank you. I gotta practice the Malay, man. Jande, jandum. I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm a little confused, but good people, good energy. You see that? It doesn't matter where you um, or how you hand out money here in Malaysia. You always get your change back. That's one thing that I really, really enjoy. I've been to many places in the world where, you know, people try and play you. Like, we just came from Jamaica, where man, I don't want to throw no shade, but like every time I was in Jamaica, every time I paid for something, you guys witnessed it on the videos. I didn't try and set people up, but I almost never got my change back, ever. Or they say like, let me keep this, let me keep this. And yeah, obviously, I respect the hustle and the grind, but that's wrong. And here, you don't get none of that. Here, everybody wants to give you your change back and it's great. Oh man. You know what? Let's actually walk over in this direction and see what else we can find over here. Wow, look at all the motos. So many motos. A lot of people enjoying a nice breakfast. Oh man, it's starting to really cook out here. To survive the heat here in Malaysia, you actually have to um, hit the road extremely early or late in the evenings and then you're perfectly fine. The weather's beautiful, but um, between the hours of like 11 to around 4.30 p.m., it is brutal, scorching, and that's actually when you start to notice that there's not much people out on the streets. I noticed that here, 
and not only in Malaysia but in a lot of Asian countries that people really like to take care of their skin and their health so when it's actually scorching or extremely hot you actually see people walking around with umbrellas uh, long sleeve shirts scarves the whole nine yards <laughs> So it looks like we're starting to veer off like into some clothing areas, clothing streets. I mean, look at the dresses. Man, my grandma would love some of these. Head scarves, bras, pants. What's over here? Some like dried snacks, Malaysian snacks. Now, since we are in our last Malaysian video, let me just tell you guys, man. My favorite favorite dish that I tried while I was here well almost everything was incredible the only thing I didn't like were the fish balls that I had a few weeks back but um, pretty much everything else I tried were was incredible but my favorite my absolute favorite dish has to be the nasi lemak nasi lemak is amazing and it's honestly like nothing I've ever had before so I highly recommend it um, if you guys come on out here that you try nasi lemak and if you haven't or if you don't have the opportunity to actually fly all the way to malaysia to try it do some research google a malaysian restaurant nearby and go and try some nasi lemak in fact that's what i recommend all of you guys do because well let's be honest a lot of you guys that watch my videos probably don't have um, the time to just take off and visit every single country that i'm visiting so while i'm in a country and making a series and you guys should also make it a point to go and try maybe the local cuisine that I'm showing you guys. So, for example, right now we're in Malaysia, go check out a Malaysian restaurant. I mean, you don't have to leave your country to get a different experience. That's what a lot of people um, tend to forget, that you can go and try new things in your own hometown, um, especially if you live in a big city. If you live in the middle of Minnesota somewhere, it's probably a little bit hard to find a lot of culture. But in a place like Los Angeles, New York, hello, how are you, sir? Hi. Nice day today, huh? Yeah, it's, cold. it's hot, huh? Uh, Very hot. hot. What is, is, you, is this a liquor store? This is a grocery store? Yeah. Oh, wow, nice. Enjoy your day, bro. Take care. Yeah. Nice guy. That's also something special about Malaysia. As you're walking around, people always want to say hi. Yeah. And it's great. Hello, how are you? People always want to say hi, it's great. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, you don't have to go too far to experience something new. And um, let's be honest, if you're in a big city like Los Angeles, New York City, um, in those places, you can find the whole world in a matter of a square mile. Super cool. All right, guys, well, we're finding ourselves in like a an area um, where it looks like things are starting to die down a little bit. Oh, wow. The Nasi Ganja Chow Kit. Wow, they have the ganja here. Hello. Nasi Ganja. Hello. Do you guys have the ganja? Not today, no ganja. When do you have ganja? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Oh, for Ramadan, for Ramadan. Oh man, well I wish you a, a beautiful Ramadan. Thank you so much. I wanted to try it. Where are you from? I'm from US, California. But your sign called a lot of attention. Nasi ganja. I wanted to try it. What is nasi ganja? It's just like the nasi, the rice yellow color. Oh, amazing. Oh, like a biryani. Wow, that, that's delicious, I'm sure. Everything in Malaysia is delicious. Okay, after Ramadan, inshallah, I come back. Oh, Take care. No, I'm not Muslim. No, no. I just, I just love Muslim people. Oh. Yeah, I'm not Muslim though. I like it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, US. US, California. Oh, okay, okay. Where are you from? From actually Indo. Oh, Aceh, Indonesia, yeah. on, the, on the peninsula. I heard about Aceh. Aceh. Yeah. Yeah. Aceh, Aceh had a very bad tsunami. Yes, yes. 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 Wow, yeah. One day I want to visit Aceh. I heard about the tsunami. 2004, right? 2004. 2004. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, 
Thank you guys so much. It's so nice meeting you. Take care. Enjoy Ramadan. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, I was like, what? They got the ganja here in uh, Kuala Lumpur? Uh, but it's clearly a, a, a dish. Um, not what I was thinking ganja is. Because where we come from, the ganja is something completely different. But yeah, guys. Um, well, this is going to wrap up our little... Um, market hunt here in Kuala Lumpur. Now I got a bunch of fresh fruit. I'm gonna go home, chop up, probably hide out from this heat because it is starting to really cook right now. And I'll see you guys again soon for another adventure. Well, obviously not from Kuala Lumpur just yet. We'll be heading to Sri Lanka. However, um, new adventures to come very, very soon. Let me know what you guys thought about that market. Let me know what you guys, what went through your mind when I saw the, when I saw the sign that said ganja because yeah, that was very interesting. I never heard of that before. Nasi ganja. Good marketing though. Uh, I was, they had me there extremely quick. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'll see you soon for another one. Thanks for the support. Thanks for all of the love in the Malaysian series. And I'll be back here again very, very soon. So guys, I actually came back to the Nasi Ganja stand to cool off a little bit and wow, I'm learning so much about Ramadan and, mu and the Muslim culture so I came here to drop off some of my fruit to share with them because they were so lovely with me and she actually is telling me right now that the reason behind fasting is actually because well in Islam the God, the God wants you to understand how others feel that don't have um, money to eat, that others that don't have money to buy themselves drinks, and it really it humbles you and it gives you that um, experience of putting yourself in someone else's shoes, which is something that's extremely beautiful. Now, um, they actually sell some drinks here. Can I have? Can I purchase a drink from you? Do you have um, iced coffee? Actually, do you, let me do ice milo. Ice milo? Yeah. That's my favorite drink in Malaysia. Ice milo? Or do you have um, ice tea tarik? Yes. You do a ice? Yes. Yeah, let me do tea tarik better. You want tea tarik? Yes. You want ice too? Ice, yes. It's so hot. Okay, alright. Hey, you want ice milo? No way. No, ice tea tarik. Yeah. I do it for you. I want to see how you make it. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is the I'm water. Okay. Oh, that's condensed milk? Condensed milk. Then we put tea. Okay. Is that black tea? Yes. Oh, you can smell it. It smells so yeah. good. Water. Some more water. Okay. Then you tarik Wow, you don't mess up, huh? <laughs> I don't know how you don't spill that. A lot of practice. Oh, awesome. For Thank you. you. Oh, can I get ice, please? You want ice? Yeah, I want it cold. Okay, it's hot. Right, okay. Yeah. Please. Thank you. I know. I know where it's cold. <laughs> tea Tarek. If you guys have never had a Tea Tarek, you're missing out. Tea Tarek is so amazing. It's so good. And it goes amazing with Rati Chennai. Yeah. We had Rati Chennai a few days ago for the very first time. And, wow, so good. Is that your favorite food, Rati Chennai? Local Malaysian food. Okay. Yeah, local Malaysian food, huh? Nasi lama, roti chanan, what else? <laughs> Lontong, nasi karabu. Oh, nasi karabu. Man, I haven't tried nasi karabu yet. Why we call nasi karabu? Nasi karabu? Because there's a coconut here. Wow, this is lovely. You know what it reminds me of? Almost like a Thai tea. So good. Wow. All right, guys. Well, I just wanted to tune back in and share that with you guys because, well, I wasn't even gonna keep filming anymore. But um, such lovely people, and I wanted to share a little bit more of that with you guys. And look, we even got a tea tarik, so you guys are able to witness the tea tarik 
one of the classic beverages here in Malaysia. And yeah, now I'll see you guys again soon for um, another adventure, which is gonna be our flights to Sri Lanka, which I actually don't know exactly how long it is yet. I think it's like three hours. I have to double check a little later on. And I also have to buy my flight leaving the country and book some accommodation because I'm very bad at planning and I leave tomorrow. So that's exactly what I'm gonna go do now the rest of my, with the rest of my day. And yeah, probably go take my second shower of the day. Later. You were always smarter.